Good morning and happy Friday, everybody. It is Fitness Friday. Every Friday during these stay at home orders, we have been trying to bring you a different workout that you can do with us live from the comfort of your own home. Uh, we think that working out is so important to your mental and your physical well being, and I think that this is also just a great way for us to all connect. We're so lucky that while we're going through this, we have technology to connect us, so why not use it? Um, and we know that also so many local businesses, uh, a lot of small boutique fitness studios have uh, really been struggling during this time because they cannot open up, they can't hold their usual classes. So they're moving their workouts online. And we are joined today by Poise Pilates and Bar. They are a fitness studio in downtown Bakersfield. They have started doing once a day workouts online for their clients who can't come into the studio right now. They're making sure that they still get that workout in. Um, Callie Spitzer Jenkins, one of the owners, is joining us today, and she's going to be doing a 15 to 20 minute workout that's going to kind of fuse some bar and Pilates. I'm really excited. This is a great workout. I like it because it's low impact, but it really burns. That's my favorite thing about these kinds of classes. Um, so Callie's going to lead us through this workout. All you need is a chair for some balance, if you have it, and some light weights. Callie said maybe even some soup cans um, if you don't have light weights. I don't have any of that because even though she told me this yesterday, I forgot to bring weights with me. Um, so I'm going to do body weight workouts for my arms, um, but it's still effective. It's still something if you're trying to just apply some of that resistance. So I'm excited. Callie, good morning. Thank you so much for doing this for us. We so appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for having me, Maddie. What do you want people to know about this type of workout? What are we going to do today? All right, are we ready to go? So we're going to start down on our mat. We're going to do some ab workouts. So go ahead and lay down, Natty. Your legs are going to go straight up to the ceiling. Hands are long by your side and just rest your head down on the ground. And we'll keep the legs straight as we drop them down towards the ground and lift them right back up. Keep your neck coming pulled in and down. Good, and lift. You inhale as you drop. Exhale as you lift. Dropping it down. Good modification here would be to bend the knees if needed, and also don't go as low as, as you, you know, as needed. So you can go as low as you want to go. We'll go four more here, dropping those legs down. Lift the feet up. And three. Two. Our final one, bring them up to the ceiling and then just bend those knees to a tabletop. It's a 90 degree angle. Interlace your hands behind your head. And we're just going to do a little chest lift here. Little ab crunches. Just lift and lower, up and down. You can also put your feet down on the ground if that feels better for you. Just lift and lower. Good. For five more. Four. Nice, Maddie. Three, two on this last one. Let's hold it up there and little lift. So tiny little lift just to feel that burn for eight, seven. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Going into bicycle, extend your left leg straight out, keeping your right leg bent. We rotate towards that side and then rotate to the other. Just rotate. And rotate side to side. Getting those obliques warmed up. Good. Go eight more. Seven. Six. Make sure you're breathing. Four. Three. Two. On this last one, go to one side. Hold it there. Little lifts for eight. Lift seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One to the other side, just lift eight, go seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way in. Good, you should have felt a little burn there. Rest your head flat, legs go straight up to the ceiling as well. Now bring your fingertips to your toes. You're going to try and reach your toes. So lift up and up. Just lift and lift. So my legs are straight, my arms are straight. Just lifting my chest up. Give me eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it in. 
You should have felt a little burn. You're gonna grab the chair. I have my chair just right here at the end of my mat. So lay all the way down. I'm happy to speak forward just a little bit so I can reach it. And then bring your feet on top of the chair, the part where you would be sit in a seated position. Legs are fit, arms long by your sides. You're just gonna lift the hips up and you're gonna lower them down. Then you lift the hips up and lower down. Working our hamstrings and our glutes. Good. Lift and lower. If you want more of a challenging kick, in your arms to the ceiling. That gets those kickstands off of the ground and makes you stabilize a little more. Just lift and lower for four and three, two. We'll hold it on that last one, little lift. So just lift and lift. Focus on the up. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four. Good. Three, two, and one. Lower those hips down. Good. Now extend your right leg straight up to the ceiling, keeping the left heel on the on the chair. Okay. It's going to be the same thing, just single leg. So lift up and down. Lift and lower. Eight more. Seven. You feel it, Daddy? Six. You look great. Five. Final four. Three. Two. Hold it on that last one. Little lift. Just five. Go four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it down. That right foot now will come on the chair. Left leg straight up to the ceiling and lift and lower 10 times on that right leg. Nine. Lift eight. Seven. Make sure you're breathing. Six. For five. Four. Good, you guys. Three. We got this. Two on this last one. Let's hold it. Little lifts. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, bring it in. Straighten those legs up to the ceiling. Just give yourself that stretch in the hamstring. Awesome job. And go ahead and stand it all the way up. So now the next one, you can use your chair for stability, okay? So we're gonna face, I'm gonna turn the chair around because that's gonna be my little handheld thing, okay? We're gonna come to a wide second. That means your legs are out wide. Toes are externally rotated. Okay, we're just gonna squat and stand, squat and stand. Getting those quads now working. We work the back of the legs on that chair exercise. Just squat and stand, down and up. Five more. Good, four, three, two. On this last one, let's hold it low. Little pulses down and down. Just pulse and pulse. Keep that chin and chest lifted. And pulse and pulse. Go four, three, two, and one. Stand it up. Now, pop your right heel up. Okay, so my heel is off of the mat. We're gonna squat and stand like that. My left foot is flat. My right heel is up. Squat and stand. Drop and lift. Nice, you guys. Go three more, two, final one, let's go down, let's hold it down and pulse it out. So it's pulse and pulse. Good, make sure you're breathing. Go four, three, two, and one. Same thing on that left side. So pop that left heel up. We squat and stand, down and up. Good, pull that tummy in, that chair is just there to stabilize us. Keep us balanced, down, up, drop, lift. For three more, and two. Final one, we'll go down, hold it down there, pulse it out. Eight, go seven, six, five, four, three, two. Final one, stand it up. Now, if you're comfortable, pop up to both heels and releve it up on your tippy toes. Please squat and skip down and up. You should feel that shape 
When you're down at the bottom, good Natty. Drop and lift. Give me four more. Three, two, final one, down and hold, pulse it out. Here we go, it's pulse and pulse. Down and down. Six, go five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it all the way up. Shake out those legs. And let's give ourselves a quad stretch. Pulling that leg back behind you. And then switching to the other side. Good work. And now we'll grab your hand weights. Now I know you don't have yours. And that's totally fine. Okay? I have threes. We're going to roll those shoulders back and down in a standing position. We'll just bring our arms to that T and then drop them all the way down. So if you don't have weights, what I want you to focus on is how straight your arms are. Can you flex those triceps, the back of the arms? Can you flex the top of the arms, right? Getting that body resistance, lift up and down, reaching and lowering. Good. For five, four. Nice work. Two. We'll hold it at the top. Little pulses. Lift it up and up. Good. Eight. Go seven. Straighter arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop those arms down. Good. Now flip the palms. We're in a low knee with your arms. You're gonna bicep curl. It's a low bicep curl. Up and down. Nice. Soften those knees. Pull that tummy in. Make sure those shoulders are out of your ears. That full range of motion, straightening those arms, resisting. Maddie, act like you have 10 pounds on each hand and you're finding those 10 pounds coming up and down. There it is, good. And down. Go four, three, resist it, two. It's like you're flexing your guns for me, Maddie. On that last one, bring it halfway up, little pulses. You guys get the gist, we always do full range, and then little baby ones, just to add a little flair at the end. Good, for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, roll those shoulders back and down. Now from here, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me a little bit. I'm going to pinch my body forward just a little bit. So stick your tush out, stick your chest out, bring the arms back as far as you can go, bend the elbows and push them back. Again, now that you have those 10 pound weights, you're imagining pushing those arms away from you. Bend and press. If you have your weights, you can always add some here. So if you have a heavier weight, go grab them if you want them. The triceps can handle it. Out and in. Push it back. Good. For four. Final three. You know what's coming. Two. We push it back. Hold those arms straight. Lift up and up. Lift and lift. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Come on. Three, two, and one. Bringing it in. So I'm gonna move now to some arms and legs together, okay? So we're gonna do a step back lunge. So we just step one foot back and lunge. We come up for a hammer curl of the, the arms and a reach to the ceiling. Stay on that one side, squat back, hammer curl, reach. Squat it back, hammer curl as you come up, reach to the ceiling. We have seven. Six. Good. Five. So we're working arms and legs at the same time. Four. Three. Two. Final one on this leg. We'll do the same thing on the other leg. So step it back for that lunge. Camera curl to that reach. Lunge it back. Reach it. Good. 
Getting that heart rate up, squatting. Give me six more, we've got this. Reach, five, four, three, two more. Final one, good job. Now come to that right leg back lunge again. So your right leg is back, we're in that lunge, and let's just pulse it out here. Good, just pulse and pulse. Drop and drop. Go eight more. Six, keep that chest lifted. Four, three, two, and one. Step that right foot forward, left leg back, getting into that lunge position, and pulse it out. Good, pulse and pulse. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, standing it all the way up. Good job. Let's set those legs aside. Good, we're gonna end with a little tiny booty blast. So go ahead and lay down on your side, all the way down, okay? Bend your knees into your chest, and we're just going to open up the knees and close. It's like a little clamshell, up and down. Good, open and close. So when we're laying on our side like this, you want to focus on staying nice and stacked in your, in your hips. Lift and lift. Four more here. Four and three, two. Hold it on that last one. We're up and open. Now little lifts here. Lift and lift. Use that glute. Good. For four. Go three, two, and one, bringing it all the way down. Now straighten the leg out, straight in front of you, okay? So the leg is straight out, so you can almost touch it with your fingers, and you're just gonna lift and lower, up and up. Lift and lift, getting that top glute. Good, eight, go seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bringing it in. We'll go to the other side, same thing. Those knees are pulled into your chest. Okay, feet are staying together. You just open that knee out and down. Open and close. Your hips are stacked, core is strong. Good, just open and close. You may feel one side is tighter than the other or harder than the other, that's completely normal. Four more, and three, nice Maddie. Two on this last one, we hold it at the top. Little lift, just lift and lift. Up and up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten that leg out, straight in front of you, turn the toes down to the ground, little lift. Up and up. Last thing of the day, you guys have done amazing. Good lift and lift for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. It's always good to stretch. So let's lay down on our back. We call this a figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left knee and then just pull for that glute stretch. Always good to stretch after working your body part, and then switch to the other side, left ankle over your right knee, reach through and pull. And we are finished. Thank you, Maddie, for having me. Kelly, that was really fun. I love like Pilates and bar. That, that's a combo of like Pilates and bar, right? Yes, that was a combo. So I just love the slow burn. You like the low impact, just the slow burn. Like you said, when you were feeling that shake, my legs were physically shaking in those uh, squats where we had our heels popped. Um, yes. So I love the feel of it. It's such a great workout. I love to vary my workouts like that. And that's such a great version, especially if you have like joint problems. Definitely, very low impact is always good. All right, so again, this is Callie Spitzer Jenkins. She is the owner of Poise Pilates and Bar. 
It's here in downtown Bakersfield. Of course, they are closed right now, but they have online classes once a day that people can check out and take. Um, a, a lot of uh, local gyms have been doing this, which is really cool, and I really love that they're very affordable. So um, you can try a, a gym that maybe you've been wanting to go to, um, but thought like, oh, I, I don't know if I can afford that. Well, they're really affordable right now, and you're getting a very similar workout it, just from the comfort of your own home. So, um, Kelly, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for leading that workout. I feel great. I hope everyone at home feels great, too. Thank you for joining us for Fitness Friday. I hope everyone has a beautiful weekend, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.